Stop calling my mobile phone. I understand. Yo, money, don't be trifling with me. You made a decision? You're gonna fix this Dwayne problem of ours, yeah? Hey, it ain't our problem, playboy. It's yours. That said, I know what I'm going to do. That right. You cold, Nico. Peace and love. What you doing? You got rid of Dwayne already? I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here then? Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker! You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! Let's move! Don't push me, friend! Don't nobody move! The cavalry's coming! Stay down there! Even if you kill me, you're gonna have this whole town after your ass. You're a bad joke, playboy. You was money. You a low rate bitch. Where are you going, Playboy? Ice this punk. It was you or Dwayne. I chose Dwayne. You could have been someone, Nico. You cold, man. You cold. Taking a cat down in his prime. I was an innovator. You didn't change the game. The game changed you.
Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk sheep law. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah. It'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. <laughs>